Here's our state's national, our country's national bird, the bald eagle. They lay the biggest nests of any bird, and both parents help to rear the eaglets. The bald eagle was once wiped out through pesticides like DDT, but through many efforts, including the ban on DDT, the species is now recovering. And here we see the cougar, or puma, or mountain lion, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, they are found throughout the Americas in a wide variety of habitats, feeding on animals like deer and wild pigs. Even though they look like big cats, cougars can't roar, but they can purr, just like a house cat. The savanna just abounds with wildlife. The trees and grass provide food for all. The giraffe is able to reach leaves higher than any animal could reach with its long neck and 18 inch long tongue. And its hairy lips and tongues help it to avoid the thorns. There are only seven vertebrae in a giraffe's neck. They just have bigger vertebrae than our own, not more. As for the zebra, they only nip off the top bits of the grass leaving the rest behind for antelopes and wildebeests. And the zebra's stripe pattern is like a human fingerprint. No two are exactly the same. And here we see the warthog. The warthog obviously gets its name from the wart-like bumps on the side of its face, the purpose of which is not yet determined. Despite being very adept diggers, the warthog doesn't dig its own burrows. Rather, it uses abandoned aardvark dens, and it feeds mainly on grass and herbs, not mainly on grubs. Here we see the world's fastest land mammal, the cheetah, or Asinonyx jubatus. Cheetahs can reach speeds of up to 70 miles per hour to catch animals like impala and gazelle. However, they're not able to go for long distances. If the chase lasts for more than a minute, the cheetah tires. Only half of their hunts end in success. However, cheetahs can't retract their claws because it acts like cleats while they chase their prey. And to tell a cheetah apart from a leopard, cheetahs have black tear lines down their faces that act like sunglasses to keep the sun out of their eyes. Here, we see the Greater Indian Rhinoceros, or Rhinoceros unicornis. The name Rhinoceros comes from two Greek words meaning nose horn. The horn is made out of keratin, the same substance that makes human fingernails. Like the black rhinoceros, Indian rhinos have hook-shaped upper lips designed for browsing on leaves and tall grass. Rhinos have very poor eyesight, but it's more than made up for by great senses of hearing and smell. Rhinos can charge at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. All species are threatened by poaching for their horns. This is the Asian elephant. Asian elephants are slightly smaller than African elephants, weighing up to about 11,000 pounds. Only males have tusks, and an elephant can be either right-tusked or left-tusked, like how a human can be either right-handed or left-handed. Elephants eat up to 300 pounds of food each day to sustain themselves. Whenever an, a male elephant reaches puberty, that's the age when it leaves its natal herd. And here is the world's largest snake the reticulated python. The largest of these snakes was about half the length of a bowling lane. In the wild, they eat small to medium-sized mammals, birds, and they can unhinge their jaws to swallow prey larger than them. In fact, if you wanted to eat as much as a python, you'd have to eat a whole watermelon, uncut, hands behind your back. And here we see the Amur tiger, aka Siberian tiger, the world's largest cat. Even their skin without their fur is striped. In the wild they hunt large prey like deer, wild boar, even bears. 
and they can consume up to 48 pounds of meat in one sitting. However, since they aren't built for speed, only one out of every 10 hunts end in success for tigers. The Siberian tiger is an endangered species mainly due to poaching for both its fur and its bones, which are believed to have medicinal properties. Here we see the western lowland gorilla. The gorilla is the world's largest primate native to the jungles of western, eastern, and central Africa. They live in large family groups led by a silverback male, a few blackback males, several females, and their young. In the wild, they eat fruits, leaves, stems, and nuts. Gorillas are endangered due to habitat loss, poaching, and the Ebola virus. This is the black and white colobus monkey, or colobus gyreza. Like langors, colobuses are often called leaf monkeys since the bulk of their diet consists of leaves. When a colobus monkey baby is born, it's pure white, but as it gets older, that's when its fur turns black and white. Here we see the African Grey Parrot. Among the parrots of the pet trade, the African Grey Parrot is one of the most popular, as in addition to mimicking human speech, it can also mimic doorbells ringing and dogs barking. In the wild, they eat fruits and seeds, and they're able to use their sharp beaks to crack open seed shells and nuts. They're endangered due to habitat loss and capture for the pet trade. This is the bonobo, aka the pygmy chimpanzee. Bonobos, along with chimpanzees, are our closest living relatives in the animal kingdom, sharing up to 98% of our genetic makeup. In fact, they're so closely related, they can donate blood with us. In the wild, they eat fruits, leaves, insects, honey, and small mammals. They're known to use a variety of tools, such as sticks to fish for ants and termites. Bonobos are endangered due to habitat loss and the Ebola virus. And here we see the okapi. Now although the okapi has markings on its legs that look like those of a zebra, its closest living relative is actually the giraffe. Like the giraffe, it eats leaves and vines and has to spread its legs out in order to get a drink of water. Unlike giraffes, okapi live alone and, me and females are bigger than males. The okapi is an endangered species mainly due to poaching for its hide. These are white-handed gibbons, or hylobates lar. Gibbons are among the lesser ape family and are perfectly built for life in the trees. The motion they give is called brachiating in the wild, they mainly feed on fruits, leaves, and flowers. Male lar gibbons are black and white, while females are gold and white. Like all gibbon species, they're endangered mainly due to habitat loss. Here we see the Komodo dragon, the world's largest lizard. They live on two islands in the, in the archipelago of Indonesia, and in the wild they eat monkeys, wild pigs, birds, even water buffalo, and they secrete a potent venom that prevents its victim's blood from clotting. And these are some males of the red kangaroo. Kangaroos live in large groups called mobs where one male is the boss, or as Australians call it, the old man. Kangaroos are extremely good jumpers because they can hop up to 30 feet in a single jump. The males are red, the females are gray. And here we see the koala. The name koala comes from the aborigine word meaning no drink, referring to the fact that koalas get all of their water from the eucalyptus leaves they eat. They're very fussy about their food. Koalas usually sleep for up to 20 hours a day, and most of their activity is done at night. Even though they're called koala bears, Koalas are actually not bears, they're marsupials.
just like kangaroos. This is the Tasmanian Devil. Yep, they're real. Hence their name, they're native to the island of Tasmania and they're, and they're the, currently the largest carnivorous marsupial. In the wild, they eat antelopes, gazelles, stoats, goats, rhinoceroses. Nah, I'm just kidding. They eat carrion. A Tasmanian devil is an endangered species due to a disease that's passed through physical contact. Kind of like COVID-19, but much worse.